In this video, I'll be showing you how to perform some basic operations with DocuWorks Desk. So let's go ahead and start with some of the features that I'd like to show you. Most of the features of DocuWorks Desk is uh, drag and drop, so you can import the file out. You can actually go ahead and perform a lot of changes to the file that you currently have. You can actually open original location or edit the file with DocuWorks Viewer, right? So these are all the things that you can do. All of these buttons at the bottom are on the task bar. Okay, so this is the code task bar. This one is called toolbar. Um, you can actually customize them. You can add buttons in to this particular space and how to add buttons is by right clicking going to customize right and you can go and select whatever button that you like to add so for example i'd like to add an ocr button okay i'll just drag it over here and what type of ocr do i like to perform so for example it would be an ocr for Excel file because I don't have an Excel file right now. I only have RTF. So let's do that. It's standard layout and it will be in English. And then my, um, would I like it to be in black and white or color? I'll just perform it in color and click on save. So this OCR file right now, this button is actually for Excel. And if you can see right here, it's actually, um, it's actually the same as this button. So it might be, you know, it might be confusing. So how to change the icon itself? You can actually go here and change icon and go over and select what icon you like to use. So if I like to use um, an Excel icon, I can just go ahead and do that and perform that there. All right, so this is one of the ways on how to create the icons for you in your DocuWorks desk. Now, what else can we do? Um, we can actually check for um, the progress. So for example, I have been performing OCR, right? So you might be wondering, what was the last thing that, you know, that I performed in DocuWorks? Because I cannot remember anymore. So this check mark actually helps you determine what was your last progress or what was your last step. So you can trace back what is the file that you have processed. So to do that, what we need to do to actually remove that check mark, if we don't want the check mark, okay, we can we can remove that. We can go to the DocuWorks settings, and then go to View. And then we have to just go ahead and scroll down, and then look for Mark the Last Task Toolbar button was pressed. So if you uncheck that and you apply an OK, you won't see that check mark anymore. All right. And what else? If you can see here, there's another one called display thumbnail thickness. So if you can see right here, we do have files in DocuWorks, right? Um, so let me go ahead and cancel over here. So just remember this option, display thumbnail thickness. So if I have a thumbnail of a file, so this is the thumbnail of my file. If I want this file, because this file is a DocuRex format, so just to check that, that's um, DocuRex XDW, right? And this is actually a DocuRex file as well, XDW, you can see, right? So if I want this file, okay, um, to be merged with another DocuWorks, I can just drag and drop it over there and it's automatically stacked in. So meaning it has two pages of a file for me. Okay, so that's how to stack it. If you want to unstack it, just click on stack and it, it is now um, one file each. So if I want to um, unstuck them together. I'll have to select one and then move the, the other to the left or to the right. Okay, so if I stack them together, you can automatically see, right, which one is my first page. Okay, and you can see here that there is a second page over here. So in the thumbnail, if I control and zoom in, right, or scroll up, 
you can see that I have like a second page over here. So that's what it's called display in the thumbnail, right? So if you go to my user folder and you can see here, I have this user guide, I have all of this file and there's, yeah, multiple pages over there. All right. So that's the, the thumbnail section. So if you don't want that to be displayed, you can uncheck that from the view section of um, DocuWorks options or DocuWorks settings. And once that thumbnail thickness has been removed, there will be some performance, you know, um, improvement if in case that you're having some difficulties with handling some documents in DocuWorks. So to make sure that yeah, some speed concern regarding viewing or, um, yeah, looking at the thumbnail, you can actually uncheck that so that it will improve a little bit of the performance, I guess. Okay. But not so much. It will be around, uh, as what um, Fuji Xerox has said, it will be around 1.4 millisecond or something like that to improve it if you don't want to display that. Okay. Um, other things that maybe come in handy would be showing and hiding the um, control bar. So you can actually perform this to actually remove the control bar, especially if you have like a task space that you're working on and you want to have a user folder on the other side and you wanted to um, move one file or another to the task space it's actually going to help the shortcut of that show hide button is actually over here so you can actually see your controls um, quickly and you can navigate to your task space properly all right so there's a lot more feature that you can do with DocuWorks so let me stack this one down and let me go over and um, yeah make it separate Right. So there's a lot of things that you can do. You can stack them together so you can uh, perform a stack or unstack. Um, you can edit the file itself using DocuWorks Viewer, which I will be discussing on a different video, I guess, um, because right now we're on DocuWorks desk. So annotation and all those stuff will be on the viewer side. And I hope that the basic information has been very useful to you. Um, I have talked about creating buttons and how to make your DocuWorks desk, I guess, uh, a little bit cleaner by showing and hiding all of the icons. And yeah, if you do have any further questions, you can let me know. And thanks for watching this video.